Hello everybody, welcome again. I'm so sorry, it's been quite so long time. I didn't make any video. Please forgive me. I was very sick in the past few days. Okay, however, here we are again. So here, I will start this video with one of these sensors, which is the temperature and humidity sensor. Okay, this sensor is the AM2301, okay, which is uh, able to measure temperature and humidity. So, in this video, we will talk about this sensor and we will learn how to connect it to the MCU, which is the Arduino, and we will see how can we take the reading from this sensor, which is the temperature and the humidity. So, here so, is the data sheet for the temperature and humidity sensor. Okay, this sensor is from A.O. Song Company. Okay, the part module is AM2301 okay this is how it looks like and here is the internal constructions okay so here is the dimension of or physical dimension of the module and here is the electrical connections or the electrical wires okay so we have red yellow and black the red it will go to the VCC or VDD, which is uh, 5 volt, or which is can accept from uh, 3 volt to 5.2 volt. And the ground in black, and the middle one will be the serial data or the SDA. Okay, so this is the wiring and the pin assignment. And here are the temperature and the humidity uh, performance. Now we come to the electrical uh, characterization. See the voltage here is uh, averaging from 3.3 all the way to 5.2 volts. And also the power consumption when it's in sleep mode, it will consume about 10 to 15 microamp. When it's measuring, uh, consume 500 microamp when it's an averaging is around 300 microamps. Uh, what else? Here is important thing where we can see the sampling period is at two seconds. So I mean, if we want to request the data from the sensor, we need to perform it every two seconds. Otherwise, we won't get the accurate readings. Okay, so here they talk about the SDA or the CL data, uh, where they use a one wire uh, bus communication. Okay. So here is talk about the cable length is about 30 meter and also we need a pull up resistor of about 5k kilo ohm. Mm, and also here's what they mentioned what we mentioned just now about the two seconds that the, the data request shouldn't be less than two seconds. Okay, so the interval of the read shouldn't be less than two seconds. Otherwise, my cruiser temperature and reading not allowed to communicate successfully. So my expect an issue so that's why the, the, the request might be or should be more than two seconds okay so here's the simple schematics provided by the uh, data sheet you can see here we need to have the rb or the pull up resistor which is again is about five kilo ohm this one will be pulling up the sda line to the VCC of the 5 volt or 3.3 volt. And uh, regarding the requesting the data and sending and receiving data from the module, all this thing will be handled by the library later, as we will see. So we don't need to have a headache about it. Okay, so that's all about the data sheet. Let's go and test it using the library. Okay. So here is the hardware setup. As you can see here, this is our sensor. And I already hooked it to these uh, jumbers, wires, okay? I connected to the Arduino. If you see here, as we said, the black color, the black wire, which is connected to the orange uh, wire, the orange go to the black and the black go to the ground of the Arduino. And the red should go to the five volt. So you can see here, the red connected to the green and the green here is connected to the 
uh, red jumper okay and this red jumper go all the way to the 5 volt now we come to the data okay the data wire which is the yellow so the yellow connected to the yellow and if you can see here yellow here connected to the white and the white go to the pin number 2 and as we mentioned previously the data wire need to be pull up to the VCC with 5.5 or so for 5.1 or 5 uh, kilo ohm resistor so I don't have 5k but I have 2 10k ohm so I connected them in parallel so now I have about 5k here resistor that pull up the data line to the VCC okay so this one this data line will pull up with about 5 kilo ohm resistor so yeah that's all back to the hardware uh, setup so now we can connect the Arduino to the laptop and start with the software okay guys so before we start with the software for the DHT sensor I would like to show you where to get the library where we will need to use this DHT.h library okay so the library is available here in this uh, github repository so i'll try to include the link for it in the description of this video okay so to, to download and install this library first we need to download it as a zip okay this is the first thing then you go to your arduino okay this is your arduino you go to sketches, a sketch, sorry, then include library, then add dot zip library. Okay, so from here you can uh, browse where you download the zip just now, okay, from the GitHub, then it will be installed for you automatically. So after we install it, then we can see the examples should be shown here. Okay, so the library should be somewhere here. There it is. There's a DHT library and here is our two examples. So I'll start with the first one, with the tester. There we go. It's done loading. So this is our our code. So we can see here, here it will show you also where you find all these libraries and the dependencies. You need to run the example. So first, again, as we said, we need to link the data of the DHT sensor to the pin number two of our MCU. This is done already. And from here, since we are using AM2301, so we need to change our and comment the other one, which is should be 21. DHT 21. What else? So I believe that's it. Okay, so here we can see we already uh, define an object of DHT sensor that's called DHT. Then in the setup we begin it or we start to initiate that object. Here we need a delay of two seconds because this sensor needs two seconds to process the data, otherwise it might give you some uh, lousy data. And from here, we can get the humidity, temperature in Celsius, and also in Fahrenheit. In Fahrenheit, we need to send a true in the read temperature. If you see here, there's a variable that determines whether it's Fahrenheit or not. So if it's true, so this one will be Fahrenheit, F. If not, okay, if we just keep it empty, it will be default to Celsius. This one, it will here we just check whether any non data been written on these three variables that we uh, query previously. 
So it will bring the fail to it from the sensor and it will return to the main loop to continue create the next data. Okay, because the current data is invalid, so just like skip it for this loop, then go to the next one. If okay here is compute the heat index for the Fahrenheit and the Celsius, and then we print it out on the screen or on the UIR. Okay. So now I will connect my Arduino to the laptop. There we go. Tools, call number 11. Now I will upload. Okay, it's compiling now. There we go, it's done. So if I open my serial, I should see the data come here. There we go, humidity, temperature, and heat index. So now with this data, I believe I can directly use the plotter to plot the data. Yep, I can. So let's modify our data so we can plot it using the plotter. So from the data, um, I'll keep the humidity H. Uh, what else? I will delete the percentage. This one delete it. Um, what I will add, let's grab this cut. So this one will be comma. I just need a comma and temperature in Celsius. Yes, I don't need Fahrenheit, the heat index and all this thing. I don't need it. And make this one new line. Okay, so I believe that's it. I just need the humidity and the temperature. Let's test this one. Okay, done. Let's test the serial monitor. Yep. So you can see here, I got two data. Open the plotter. So now I should see the two data being blotted. Yes, value one, value two, and here we go. So now humidity around 60 and the temperature around less than 30. So now guys, what I will do is, um, I'll try to keep it uh, I'll try to give it for a few minutes to see the profile of changing the temperature and also I'll try to like uh, turn on and off the aircon to see the profile where the temperature will go up or down. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so here I'll keep the Arduino running for quite some time to collect more data. Okay guys, so as you can see here, it's been running for about 10, 20 minutes. So we can see that the humidity up here in the blue line, it was about 17, now around 47, okay. And also the temperature was more than 13, now around 27 or 28. Celsius. Okay, so with this we will reach to the end of our tutorial. We have learned how to uh, download the library for our DHT sensor and also how to run the code from the examples. Very straightforward though. Okay, so I hope you have learned something and sorry again for the long time that I didn't share any videos. I really don't feel well these days. Thanks a lot and happy learning. See you soon.